Welcome to Bombastic Nation and ting and ting and ting. Ow! <laughs> oh man, I just did a whole bunch of stuff. Work on the audio all day yesterday after I got off work. Work on the video, you know. Uh, optimize my, my, my camera a bit. I think I'm doing a decent job. It could be better. And as I go along, you all will see it get better. But enough of that, enough of that. We get to watch some videos. We get to watch some uh, uh, some scary stuff. Let me see what this one is. What this one is. This one is 13 videos you aren't brave enough to watch. <laughs> ain't brave enough to watch these. So I guess these are supposed to be really scary. But we won't go ahead and watch it, all right? We won't go ahead and check it out, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and YouTube and Sim Simmer. These are 13 videos that many are not brave enough to watch, let alone experience in real life. All I can say is good luck. Number 13. Tim, John, and Ben are going to explore a house in the back of the woods that is rumored to be where a clan of worshippers do all kinds of rituals. They wander around in the woods for a while, until a rickety white house rises from the darkness. Inside, warnings are spray painted all across the walls in big dark letters, but they do not heed them and Why? press on. Tim, John, and Ben take turns breaking stuff and jumping out at each other, but suddenly the three become very serious and quiet when they find a dungeon-like basement that leads straight down. The dark area smells extremely foul, and they cover their nose and mouths with their shirts to lessen the stench. The only thing down there besides them are two dolls hanging by their necks, or at least that's what they think. Suddenly all three of them are running from what sounds like a creature with a low throaty growl. <laughs> If this noise is real, then it almost has to be the end result of a terrible ritual that none of us are brave enough to see. Number 12. While on vacation in South Africa, Emily Sawyer dares to climb into the shark tank with some of her friends. She is full of adrenaline and can't help but nervously grip the cage bars out of stress. Soon a giant shark comes prowling along the cage and wants a closer look at the potential meal inside. The tour guides try to keep the shark distracted with a piece of bait on a pole, but it lunges at the last second and chomps where Emily's hands just were. All the other girls can do is watch as the shark almost makes a meal out of their friend's hands. I'm surprised there is not a second outer cage to keep this from happening. Emily got away lucky, but maybe it's just a matter of time before someone pulls back a stump. Number 11. A lone stranger staggers out of the trees while a man is filming the train tracks. The person seems off balance and out of sorts as they slowly walk forward, barely managing to avoid an oncoming train. Just when it seems like the worst is over, another train fast approaches. It lays on the horn, but he doesn't even hear it. Only when he sees the cameraman pointing at him to get over does he take a step, otherwise he would have kept walking straight in front of it. He owes this cameraman his life, but judging from his lack of a reaction, he hardly seems to even care. Number 10. Shortly after moving into their new apartment, this couple began to feel watched, so they installed a camera in the bedroom. A few nights later, they record a full-grown adult standing outside of their window. At first, he is so focused on staring into their bedroom that he doesn't even seem to notice or care about how obvious he stands out against the well-lit parking lot. When the couple inside walks closer to the window and gets on the bed, he tries to be a little more cautious but fails miserably. It's pretty obvious that he is still there and eagerly looking straight at them. He is about as close to the window as he can be, and he is probably really getting into the idea of watching them without being seen himself, not knowing that he himself is on camera. 
They can see him the entire time, and this is the exact moment that the boyfriend goes out and confronts the man, who quickly stands up and shows no aggression as he walks away. It turns out to actually be their neighbor next door. He came over and apologized the next day, but something tells me that this is a compulsion that he cannot help, and soon enough he will be back at it again, if not with them, then with someone else. Number 9 Number 1 if my bedroom is that close to the bumble cloud floor, them blinds ain't coming open. Nobody's gonna know what's in the place. Because you never know who's stalking your place or anything like that. And I tell you what, I go out there, hands, baby. Hands. Ain't gonna be like, hey, what are you doing here? No, dude, I'll walk up behind them when we yeah, bam! He was peeping in on me and my wife. Uh uh. I ain't gonna be no talking, and I'm, I'm, I'm shouting police, police when I'm hitting you. This street cam records a beverage truck spinning out of control around the corner and launching liter bottles of soda everywhere. A student, judging from his backpack, has to sprint the other direction and barely avoids a carbonated tidal wave. Ew. There's also a surge of heavy red crates traveling at a high rate of speed. At the end, it kind of looks like these could have been steel cans, but I'm not sure. If so, each one of them would have hit with the force of a baseball bat, and I can't believe it, but he managed to avoid every single one. Number 8 This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. Number 7 Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses to come out. Her friend almost has it by the tail, but then at the last second it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly puts it back in its container. The rat looks used to being handled and this is probably the only- Dude, I hate rats. Snakes and rats. You notice I hate land animals, <laughs> but I, I used to live in New York, right? We ch chucking down, going to, uh, was it, I think we were going down Utica Avenue in Brooklyn. Kentucky Fried Chicken there. And New York is just, at that time, I don't know what it is now, but there were rats everywhere. So there's all these rats, like about 15 of them in the dumpster there. So, like, my experience from Eastern Kentucky. Here in these parts, you see a rat and you go, bah. rats run. So she uh, <laughs> lean out the car and go, bye. And then New York rats just turn around and go, what? What? They all look at her like, what? What? We run this route. <laughs> they didn't even scatter. They just look over and go, yeah, you stupid human. What are you going to do? I don't like rats. No. Thing that kept it from trying to bite and scratch its way out. Number 6. Zaneo barely manages to turn his live stream on and say hello before something unexplainably paranormal happens behind him. <sighs> the window somehow goes from being tightly shut to wide open in less than 10 seconds without a sound. If I'm not mistaken, this type of window doesn't even open from the outside, meaning that somebody had to be standing in the room to even push it open. Zaneo quickly searches his house in less than a minute and finds no one else's home, but when he crosses into the living room, 
The batteries in his smoke alarm go off for no reason at all. I know this part is real because this is the first time you hear the smoke alarm beep in the entire video. Okay. Ooh. That could okay. be a point to Smoke alarm malfunction. The smoke alarm going off combined with the window opening by itself is enough to convince me that this is probably paranormal. Number five. And why are all these people going looking without a weapon? Stuff like that happen, man. I'm looking for something. You know what I mean? A bat, a machete, something. I'm, I'm not. No. I'm swinging the first move. Caitlin McIntyre is making a video of her grandpa that she wants to remember for the rest of her life, which actually might be shorter than she thinks. It may seem like nothing bad could ever happen to them on such a perfectly sunny day, but to their immediate right is a sharp drop straight off a cliff. They hit a point where the curved road grows very narrow, just as the sun beats down on their car at the worst possible angle, turning the entire windshield into nothing but a blinding white glare. Grandpa does his best to stay on the road, but the sun is so intense that not even his oversized sunglasses can get the glare out of his eyes. They find some brief cover under the trees, and they can see that the road is too narrow to safely turn around. You can tell he doesn't want to keep going, but it's too late now and there is no other choice. He has to go back into the blinding sunlight and keep pushing forward just a little yeah, bit more until he can make this turn. Maybe there's something up ahead. He only has a short distance to go before he can turn around, but he almost manages to drive completely off the cliff instead. It's already a little I can't even see. Where am I? <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh. Just to give you a better idea at how close they were to falling off, this is a brief glimpse of the side of the cliff. You can see he was still turning right and had to majorly correct the steering wheel to avoid tumbling below. Eventually, Caitlin gets out of the car and guides her grandfather to safety. You can still see that the sun is still totally in his eyes, and it's a small miracle they made it out of there alive. Wow. Number 4. Two friends are fishing when they hear somebody else firing for Hunt not too far away. The two don't think much of it, and let the man continue his hobby while they continue theirs. They keep casting into the water and everything is going fine for about a minute, and then the two sports collide. Holy! What the Stop! Boom! Hey! Boom hey! It hit my bone! Look again and you can tell that he doesn't pick his foot up for dramatic effect. It was really that close. When you slow down the video to frame by frame, you can briefly see the round as it bounces off the deck right by his foot. Oh, if they had been people. drifting downriver, even just a little faster, it would have been a direct hit and a trip to the hospital for certain. Number 3. This 8 second video shows somebody hanging on outside of the subway in Chicago. Two things about this video. One, I think I can see the blue straps of a backpack, which would make this stunt even harder somehow. Two, you can see him give a thumbs up at the 3 second mark. He seems quite comfortable with riding outside, and I wonder how many times he has done this before. Though obviously, it's never a good idea to attempt this. Number 2. When somebody quits their job, they are supposed to give them a two week notice. This contractor gets very angry at his job site and gives a two second notice instead in the form of total carnage. He shows little regard for the safety of a co-worker who is trying to talk some sense into him as he repeatedly slams the heavy equipment into the same spot over and over again, bringing down chunks of ceiling each time. Fortunately, he seems more concerned with wrecking the property rather than taking lives. Although he is lucky, he didn't bring the entire place down on everyone. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at Dylan Kevin Dive and Proc finds himself at the bottom of a ditch. He is not doing well enough to stand up, but he can still hold a camera and record. So he makes a goodbye video to his friends. Oh, and he did try to call for help, but he couldn't get a signal. The sun sets and I think most of us would have passed out or completely panicked by now. But hours later, Kevin is calm and focused enough to think of a pretty good plan. Sun clock. 
gotta use my flashlight to wave somebody down. You can hear traffic pass him the entire time just 50 feet away. Wow. And nobody has any reason to look at the bottom of a huge ditch as they keep going. Uh, yeah, I can use a drink of water. Uh, I'm amazed that he is not crying or anything as he calmly says goodbye, totally at peace with the situation. Alright. Love you. Love you, Corny. Kevin was found by a random person a full 30 hours later, long after this video ended, and his cell phone has lost its charge. He is still alive and okay. Wow. If you've ever wanted to solve a mystery wow. for a reward, now is your... That's a lucky brethren right there. That's a lucky, lucky brethren right there. Can't imagine, dude. Laying there and pretty much waiting to die. Yeah, I guess I could imagine that. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever I go bring out new videos. You understand what I mean? Come on, comment. Tell me something you want me to see. Give me some ideas and things, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos anyway. You know, some of the do here, some of the, you know, I just watch uh, because copyright stuff and all of that. But uh, just let me know what's up, you know. And, uh, like, for instance, my, my audio wasn't good. One of my, my viewers told me, hey, the audio is kind of low, so I tinker it up a bit, which led into tinkering up with the camera to give a better pictures. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember, make life cool runnings.